welcome to Alberta Rheumatology's discussion on the difference between osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis. Arthritis can be broken down into two broad categories, degenerative arthritis, which is typically osteoarthritis, and inflammatory arthritis, in which rheumatoid arthritis is the most common form. Osteoarthritis is more prevalent, affecting about 10% of the population, whereas rheumatoid arthritis affects about 1% of the population. It's important to note that while osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis are used interchangeably, they are two different joint conditions. One major difference between these two types of arthritis is the joints that are involved. With osteoarthritis, it primarily affects the hips, the thumbs, the knees, the big toes, and the distal parts of the fingers. It can cause pain and bony enlargement in these areas. Rheumatoid arthritis, on the other hand, usually involves the wrists, the proximal parts of the feet, and the proximal parts of the hands, or the knuckles. Although it's important to note that rheumatoid arthritis can affect any joint and will typically cause pain and swelling in affected joints. When further comparing osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis usually gets worse with activity and better with rest. It presents with morning stiffness that lasts under one hour and has an incidence that increases with age. It's commonly thought to be due to wear and tear of the joints, but this isn't entirely true and it's limited to the joints without causing further systemic problems. Rheumatoid arthritis usually gets better with activity and is worse with rest. It presents with prolonged morning stiffness lasting over one hour and can occur at any age, but most commonly at age 40 to 60. It's considered to be an autoimmune condition and can affect other organs besides the joints, such as the heart, lungs, blood, skin, and eyes. Genetics and smoking can increase the risk of either form of arthritis. The management framework for these conditions also varies. With osteoarthritis, the goal is symptom control. This can be accomplished with optimizing joint mechanics, pain control, modifying activities to maintain function, joint replacement if necessary, and minimizing disability as much as possible. With rheumatoid arthritis, the goal is to achieve remission. This is commonly done by using DMARDs or disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs that help to prevent progression and joint deformity. It's also important to relieve symptoms and flares to maintain function and minimize organ damage. You should check out our DMARD videos for more information on the types of drugs that we use to treat this condition. For more information, please visit our website at albertarheumatology.com or discuss further with your doctor.